Kuwait Oil Company is beginning an EOR steam flood project in a heavy oil field in Kuwait. The first stage of this project was a cyclic steam simulation, or huff and puff, that began with steam injection into each of the wells. After the injection phase and a short shut-in, or soaking phase, the wells are opened up for the production phase, which should experience higher production rates. Baker Hughes recommended 3D VSP technology to monitor this EOR project and help determine the effectiveness of the program for optimization purposes. A VSP utilizes geophones that can detect very small movements of the Earth. Rather than using an expensive rig, these receivers can be rapidly deployed with a standard crane. Collaboration between KOC and Baker Hughes provided a very innovative solution based on careful modeling to use a 75-level downhole geophone array with two-meter spacing between receivers and closely spaced source points to achieve optimum data. Once the geophone receivers are deployed in the well, a large truck called a vibrator sends a small seismic wave that travels down through the earth reflecting energy off rock layer interfaces that will be recorded by the receivers in the well. The vibrator uses a proprietary auto-sweep system to navigate efficient routes to all pre-planned locations and only allows new vibrations when within preset tolerances for accuracy. This data will then be processed with specifically designed software and high-speed computers to reproduce a 3D image of the reservoir layers below this area. This data is then interpreted on seismic workstations. Log data from these wells and velocities from the new VSP allow for pinpoint accuracy for the shale top seal and the two reservoirs are located on the seismic. Rock physics modeling predicted significant amplitude changes as the steam and pressure replaces the heavy oil with steam. In looking at a seismic line across the well that received the steam injection, there is in fact higher amplitudes appearing around that well allowing the shape and size of the steam to be determined. This response can be mapped in three dimensions and determine the volume of the steam still in a gas state. Deterministic inversions on the seismic data provided information on depositional environments and lateral variations in the reservoir. Ultimately, knowing where the steam fronts travel, where lateral barriers divert the steam, and how quickly they move, will help to optimize the development for the best possible efficiency.